On Bead, distributor of over 50,000 beads, crystals, and components, and direct importer of the complete line of Preciosa Crystal, Mayuki Delica and Seed Beads, and Preciosa Ornella Czech Glass Beads and Charlottes. JohnBead.com. Hi, it's Leslie Rigowski again with another seed bead lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Pico trim edge. We're going to be using two sizes of check beads, uh, 13 charlottes, which have a little facet to them, so they have this wonderful sparkle, and a nice matte size 11. They come in strands. Here they are loose. Now we're going to go right to the diagram. I'm going to show you how to do this really fun edging, and then I'm going to do it in beads. Here we go. People really like this. You start with a cuff that has the holes of the beads on the outside because that's where you're going to be coming out of. Now all a pico is, is a little stem with generally three beads. One, two, three, and you go back through the stem into your beadwork. That's the simplest of a pico. Now you can start to get fancier. You can increase the size of your stem. Here I have two green beads in my stem little three bead pico, back down through that bead again. Here I'm making a bigger one. Same thing, generally a pico is a three bead um, little dingy thing on the end. Okay, now you can do a bridge with a pico where you come out of a bead and you pick up several beads and you have a core bead that you're going to come back through. After you pick up those three, you're going to come back. And notice that I'm skipping my beads in my cuff when I come back down. So you have this nice arch. Now you can weave through your beadwork and really vary a pico so that in this case I have a different kind of a core bead. So I'm going to be coming out and forming my little bridge, my little arch coming through. It can be a crystal, it can be a larger seed bead, your little three bead pico coming back down, and that's a pico. Let me show you how it looks in beads. Come back over here. You can see I have a couple little short stem ones. Then I have my two beads. Then I have ones with the little bridge, and you can see I have a green bead here with the three bead pico on the tip, and I come back down. All right, I'm just going to pick up a couple green beads, three, then I have three little pico beads, string them back down. Now remember you have to come back down, whoops, there they are. Come back down through that one little core bead and make your three big pico, and then you're going to pick up three beads and come down back into your cuff. Now I want to quick show you some examples. This one over here uses cubes as the pico. Look at that nice textural edge. The one to the uh, side of it, you can see, and I'm going to use my needle to point, you can see that I have purple beads and I have a larger core bead and my three copper beads coming back in and I've just worked down one side and down the other and that's Pico, you can go nuts with it. On Bead, distributor of over 50,000 beads, crystals, and components, and direct importer of the complete line of Preciosa Crystal, Mayuki Delica and Seed Beads, and Preciosa Ornella Czech Glass Beads and Charlottes. JohnBead.com. <laughs>